this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, and good morning, Esther. Why don't you dance like that in the morning, William Beaver? Esther was going absolutely crazy. I think that you should maybe dance in the morning. We can all just go and dance in the morning just like Esther. Esther can kind of lead the dance, and we can all copy what she does. <laughs> uh, anyway, good morning, Polly. You don't really dance. But you do you do bounce on the uh, the bed. I feel like I should raise the ceilings a little bit because every time you bounce on the uh, the bed, you always bang your antlers on the, the ceiling. I'm scared that one day you're just gonna break through into the uh, the attic. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go and eat my breakfast, shall we? Nom 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 nom. Mm. Delicious, Barnaby. Uh, you can stand up and you can join us. And uh, yeah, let's go and head over to the, the Love Garden. If you've seen a few of these videos, uh, you'll know that at the beginning of every single episode, I head to the uh, the Love Garden uh, to announce someone uh, that I'm adding to it. And I'm adding someone for a very creative reason today. They made something uh, that I've never seen before. So the person I'm adding is, uh, is Kelly, and they made a Stampy Cat. But they made it out of Rubik's Cubes, which is uh, quite bizarre. You can see they've basically done the Rubik's Cube to, to kind of make my uh, my face and my Wonder Quest jacket. And then they added on little ears and arms and a tail and my little legs as well. And I thought that was such a cool idea. And I've never seen that before. So I wanted to say uh, thank you so much, Kelly, for, for making the little model and sending me the uh, the picture. And welcome to my love garden. All right, then. I'm going to go and head over to the uh, the doghouse. And then I'm going to explain a little bit more. Hello, William Beaver. <laughs> Hello, good morning again. Yeah, then I'm going to head over to the... Um, uh, to where we're building and I'll fully explain exactly what we're doing today but you can probably tell that I'm uh, very excited today and I know I normally sound excited oh hello Harriet uh, but yeah, I'm even more excited uh, than usual because uh, we're building something that I've been looking forward to, to building uh, for a very long time and we're gonna do that uh, being joined by Flippy I caught Flippy's eye as I walked in I was like I know I'm gonna take Flippy with me to, today all right then uh, let's go and head to, to where we're building so uh, I've kind of mentioned uh, before uh, what I uh, I plan to, to do for this episode uh, so you may remember we recently built a a movie theater called Movie Magic. And the problem with it is that we built an amazing movie theater and then we just left it because we didn't have any films to play in it. So we are going to make ourselves a film. But to make a film, we need a film studio. So that's what we're going to be building. Uh, we're going to be building a, a, film, uh, a film studio, a film studio. And yeah, we're going to put on a uh, we're going to put on a film. Uh, we're going to record it all. We're going to edit it together. And then we can show it in the uh, the cinema. And uh, as you uh, probably know, uh, I love films and I love making films. And so uh, building a, a movie theater in my lovely world uh, just seems to make a lot of sense. So uh, I'm not going to be acting in it. I'm going to be the writer and director and then all of my helpers are going to be all of the uh, the stars so uh, this is going to be cool because i want the um I want the studio to to kind of be able to do a bunch of different films, and even with the uh, the film that I'm writing uh, that we're going to put on, uh, we're going to have to change the sets a bunch of times. It's going to be kind of like a, a living building, I guess. It's going to be always evolving. But yeah, uh, let's go and get the uh, the actual walls down first, though. So uh, the entire area is, I guess, going to be like walled off. I guess we're going to build like a, a section around here. Uh, we're going to build a gate around the outside. So then on the inside, it's going to be like a bit of a camp out, uh, a compound. There's going to be like the uh, the trailers, and then uh, the uh, the the big um, actual film studio itself, the stage as they, they call it. So uh, the outside is going to be pretty big. It's going to be 25 by 33. So let's go 25 in this direction. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Look at that right on the very edge here. And then we can go uh, 33 in that direction. So yeah, let's see if I can do this all in one breath again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Yeah, so it should go to around about here. I don't know if you want to go and uh, double check that William Beaver. Oh, he's doing it already. He knows how much I make mistakes and uh, <laughs> he's already checking it to make sure it's all good. And there we go. He's given me the uh, the thumbs up. All right, then. So let's go and build the wall around here. So there's going to be like a, a bit of a, a gate uh, around the, the outside. Uh, so I'm going to leave uh, Polly and William to, to go and build that. Then I'm going to start building the, uh, the actual stage itself, uh, I guess. So uh, it's going to be pretty ginormous. Uh, just because uh, we need uh, enough room for all of the, the cameras and there's going to be a big green screen in there and just all of the, the sets I want. So there is going to be a green screen. And, oh, I've done this too big, haven't I? Yeah, there is going to be a green screen, but I want most of it to, to be kind of done real, I guess. I want actual proper sets. There's going to be fake trees and uh, all sorts of things. So I'm not going to reveal what the uh, the story is yet, uh, but I am going to... Oh, look at that. Literally, literally one block, not enough. Oh, here comes my hero. Here comes Polly to save the day and place down the final block. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
So uh, there is going to be a story and I am going to be filming uh, at least a decent amount of the film in episode as well, uh, just so you can kind of see uh, how I direct the film and how that's uh, all going to work. So there we go. These are the kind of the walls to the compound down, uh, but let's go and... Um, uh, now and go and build the uh, the actual walls uh, for the um, uh, yeah for the uh, the the movie studio itself. So uh, we're going to go along here. And we're going to go 19 blocks along, and it's going to be 19 by 19. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. There we go. I did guess correctly. And then we need to go 19 in this direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So this is kind of like the uh, the square. So this is where the uh, the stage is going to be. And it doesn't actually look that big at the moment, but it's going to have really tall ceilings uh, as well uh, to have rooms for all of the, uh, the different sets. And then that area over there, that's where the trailers are going to be. And that's basically going to be a place for uh, all of the uh, all of the stars of the the show uh, to kind of go and get ready and uh, prepare, get into costume and practice their lines and do all of the things uh, that they need to do. Uh, but yeah, before they go and begin their acting, so there's a couple different styles that there's going to be in this movie theater. So the front is going to be based around film, and I mean like an actual reel of film. Uh, it's going to be a pattern a bit like that, and then the sides are going to look a little bit like clapperboards. That's kind of the uh, the idea for the uh, the sides. Uh, so it's just going to look very filmy in uh, in general. But it was basically going to be just a big box uh, where we can go and fill in. Like all of the all of the real magic's going to be going on in the uh, the inside. I just want someone to be able to look at it and immediately know that this is a, a movie. Um, yeah, a movie studio, and so I think the best way to do that is just to just to make it actually look like a piece of film. <laughs> and so yeah, it's gonna be pretty much all um all black and uh, black and white, and then we're just gonna have a a white roof on the the top as well. So uh, you'll kind of see what this pattern is uh, once uh, uh once I've done a little bit more of it. It's kind of hard to, to to tell for now. So I now need to go uh, up by four, uh, one, two, three, four, and then the uh, the entire building is gonna end up ten blocks high. Uh, and so it's gonna it's gonna be pretty massive actually. It's gonna uh, probably stand out. Uh, compared to all of the uh, the other buildings around here, it's definitely going to be the uh, the biggest one. So this should go five blocks along. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, and then it's going to go to, to Blackwall here. And it's actually probably going to be easier uh, to do it like this. So I need to go uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then do the Blackwall. One, two, three, four, five, and hopefully, there we go. It fits in perfectly. The worst time to find out it doesn't fit in is when you've almost done it. So yeah, I just need to build uh, all of the uh, the rest up to the, the top here. And it's a pretty simple pattern, actually, because uh, I then just kind of need to do the uh, the same pattern uh, on the uh, the the top as well basically what I did at the the bottom and then that's going to be the uh, the front uh, of the um the 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 film studio done uh, but the sides are going to be a little bit more complicated because uh, I'm going to do the the clapperboard design and clapperboards are a bit complicated because they're kind of like all of these jaggedy diagonal lines and they're fine you know they, they look good but they're quite difficult to build out of blocks is uh, is one of the uh, the uh, the problems so uh, that's uh, what I've kind of tried to work out a design and the thing is I never try and make it look exactly like what it's based off. Like, for example, I've got like the, the IC opticians and the design's kind of based around glasses a little bit, but I'm not trying to make it look exactly like glasses. I'm just kind of making it, making it it's inspired by what it's uh, supposed to, to look like. That's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the, uh, the idea. So uh, I think it will look, uh, I think it'll look pretty cool when it's all done. And so I'm going to have on this front wall, I'm going to have this design and then the, uh, the side walls are going to be the, um, uh, kind of the the clapperboard uh, designs, uh, and then yeah, so that they're going to both be clapperboards, and then it's going to be the uh, the film on the uh, the the back. And just because they're both kind of black and white and uh, a relatively kind of similar style, I just thought it'd be quite good to, to merge them together. So I tell you what, uh, Polly, uh, so we can get this done quicker. Uh, do you want to kind of copy me on the the opposite side? So while I build this front wall, if you kind of go back and basically do exactly the the same uh, on the uh, the back wall over there, uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to get the uh, the entire uh, part of uh, this building done and uh, William Beaver can go and carry on building the uh, the walls around yeah you can kind of see uh, the way he's making it uh, it's kind of adding a, a, a bit of a, a proper railing just to just to kind of fence the uh, the entire area off uh, so we don't kind of have random people wandering in while we're filming <laughs> right let's uh, let's go and try and make my way down from here if I kind of land on the uh, the fence and then jump down here I can go and have a look at it and just uh, see how it looks that looks cool that does that does look really cool can you kind of see what the the idea is then uh, so it kind of looks like a, a reel of film uh, and a lot of films still do kind of film on reel you know a lot of of, um, uh, ones aren't digital yet, uh, so it's kind of cool that that uh, that's kind of how we're going to be doing it inside of this uh, this theater here. So this one is going to be the one uh, that's going to be a, a little bit more complicated compared to the the other one. It's not going to be too bad. We kind of just need to do kind of some jaggedy uh, diagonal lines, uh, I guess. So uh, basically, I'm going to alternate 
uh, be by doing uh, white and uh, and black wool uh, along uh, to the end here. And then, yeah, that end bit there uh, should be uh, black wool where you're doing that there, Polly. Uh, and so uh, this is basically going to, it looks like, I guess, a bit like a zebra, <laughs> I guess. That, I mean, that isn't the, the design. But then we can kind of just keep sloping it across and basically do the same thing again, but off by one. And you'll start to see that I'm basically doing some, uh, some diagonal lines. So it's going to hopefully uh, end up just looking uh, like some big arrow. So I'm going to go along there like that. Let me just move the uh, the black and white wall next to each other so it's much quicker to do. Uh, so yeah, I can kind of go along to, to there like that. Can you kind of see it? Can you kind of start seeing what it's going to be like? And then I'm going to go along to, to here again. And I should probably just jump up there. Might be an easier way of doing this uh, rather than kind of doing it the way I was. So let's just go and pile up here like this. Uh, so it's actually quite easy. So once you've kind of got the, uh, the start down, it's not too difficult because you're basically just uh, following the uh, the same pattern along and kind of just alternating, uh, you know, to white and then to black. It's funny how some pu like some puzzles and some I don't know some kind of optical illusions kind of look really kind of complex and difficult. Some patterns and then you go and do them and you kind of work out what they are. They're actually really simple. So now uh, this is going to be the only part that's different because this is going to be kind of like the um the like the front of the arrow I guess and so on this one uh, we need to kind of go by two blocks uh, there like that and then we're going to go go by two blocks here on this one uh, so this is going to be basically where the the clapperboards meet so I don't know if you know what a, a clapperboard is uh, I should probably explain that if you don't know it's basically it's basically like a board and you have these lines and the lines are, are on it just to kind of just to make it really easy to mark where they meet because you basically just go and you clap them down and then as they touch each other it makes a clapping noise and then and you use that to, to sync up the, the audio uh, with the video uh, when you're recording. So that's kind of what the uh, the clapper boards are, are for. And then that's why they have these designs. But now uh, you often end up with kind of like... um like digital clapper boards and so they on them they'll have like the uh, uh the time that you're recording and a whole bunch of uh, extra information as well so uh, let's go back down now uh, down now and have a look at that there we go can you kind of see how it is so we basically now need to do the uh, the same pattern uh, but along the top uh, going along that way again and then it's kind of going to look like a, a whole bunch of arrows as if the uh, the clapper board has just snapped shut uh, and then yeah that's the uh, that's the style we're going for so let's go and climb back up here and i literally just need to do the exact same thing again so i need to go white white black back uh white white white, black, black, white, white, black, black, uh, along to the end here. And I think that's the uh, the final one there. And then go along like this. And hopefully this is all just going to fit in perfectly. Like this would probably be like the worst pattern to, to do. And then randomly find out that you've done it slightly wrong and have to start again. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, that is not going to happen. That has happened before, but hopefully that's not what's going to happen now. So uh, let's go white, white, black, black, white, white, black, black, and uh, carry on doing this again. And then I just need to go, I think, uh, two more rows. And then we're going to be at the... um. Uh, yeah, at the uh, at the the top again. So uh, let's go here and go. Uh, so I need to go to here this time and go along here like this. And is this the the final? Row? I think what I can do now is basically like one stripe uh, of black wool uh, along the uh, the top here as well. And then this can go around the uh, the entire top of the area here. And then uh, we just need to all go and work together and uh, try and fill in the uh, the roof. And so. I did originally, when I was planning this uh, place, uh, think about having the um, the entire roof uh, made out of um, of black wool. But then I kind of looked around the area and I was like, wait a minute, the theatre is very black, and then I'm right opposite the um, uh, the TV station. So I didn't want the uh, the the film studio and the TV station right next to each other and uh, looking too similar. Uh, I always kind of, uh, when building things, try and uh, plan, you know, to make sure that they fit in with everything that's around them. And I thought it was just too many flat black roofs around here. So yeah, I thought that I'd have it white uh, instead. And to be honest, doesn't really matter because for the TV studio I was so sure about having everything kind of black for the the inside but it doesn't matter so much for the film studio because I guess the difference between the uh, the film and the the TV one is that when you're doing um film you really only do like one shot at a time so you're kind of plan exactly what you want to do and where the camera is going to be and what it's going to be looking at and then you kind of only film that very specific area but with TV and like especially live TV uh, you're going to be kind of you know spinning the camera all over the place and you don't know Know exactly where people are going to go and so you kind of need to have the entire set covered uh, but for the film the the trick is is to have a very small area but be able to to make it much bigger and i haven't really looked at my pattern by the way so it's going to look better from the the outside because it kind of looks like it's touching there but from the outside uh, it's going to look a, a lot better so these walls are only going to to really be visible uh, from the the outside rather than the the inside uh, just because there's always going to be a, a giant set in uh, in between here so uh, what I'm planning to, to do is kind of really talk through uh, how I'm doing the the film so as I said I'm kind of writing the uh, the script for it at the the moment I've kind of got a good idea about what it's gonna be uh, but I'm kind of writing down all of the uh, the dialogue and I'm kind of doing it in like a, a proper script format 
And so then that way I'll be able to either to, to bring the script on the screen or maybe leave a, a link to it in the description as so you can kind of see exactly what the uh, the script looks like and then how we're going to be able to, to make that into the, the film. So I basically want to, I want to bring you along every step of the way because a lot of the time uh, when I'm kind of making these videos on YouTube is I'll kind of, I'll kind of just do everything and then you just end up seeing basically the final video. And so what I want to do this time is kind of bring you through uh, every step of the way so you can kind of see, you know, how did I write the script? You know, what does the dialogue look looks right? You know, when I'm filming it, you know, how do I direct? You know, how do I kind of do it? And I haven't even exactly worked out how I'm going to be doing the film either because, you know, there's dialogue in it. There's lots of talking in it, but a lot of my Minecraft helpers, they might be very good actors, but they don't really speak very much. So I think I might be doing a whole bunch of, uh, of voices. So the plan is, is to kind of make it to make it feel like a big full feature film, but obviously not be quite as long and, you know, be made inside of this small um, <laughs> film studio inside of my, my lovely world. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. It might end up a little bit goofy and a little bit silly, but that's uh, that's kind of the, the name of the game around here, I guess. And hopefully it's just going to be a lot of fun uh, by the time we end up finishing it. And I can't believe how quickly we've got this done. Speaking of uh, of finishing it, uh, considering just how big this uh, this building is and the fact that we got all of the uh, the walls done around the outside as well, uh, I think we're, yeah, I think we're almost definitely uh, going to get this uh, entire thing finished uh, in this episode alone, which is good because in the, the next episode, I really want to get the, um, uh, some of the the inside done, uh, but mainly I want to get the uh, the trailers done. So basically down uh, here, and whoa, look, the walls are almost done as well. So yeah, basically down in that area around there, uh, we're going to have three trailers, uh, one for, for physio. Oh, hello. Hello down there, William Beaver. <laughs> I didn't know you were down. What are you doing down? Are you just digging around, William Beaver? <laughs> I caught you digging in the hole. Well, actually, if you fancy doing some digging, you might be able to, to help us out a little bit. Because if you kind of dig uh, away at all of that area down there and then put down some, um, uh, just some stone, I guess, can be the, the ground in that area there. I think that will look better. Cause I don't want just the random grass around the place. Oh, I mean, yeah, as I was saying, there's going to be the three trailers. One for uh, one for Fizzy, one for Polly, and uh, one for, for William. And uh, I think, though, that Polly Reindeer, for this first film at least, because I might do more films, is going to, to be the uh, the star. And I've been trying to think what to, to call this uh, this film studio, and I think my best name yet, mainly because it really makes me laugh, is Pollywood. Instead of Hollywood, we have Pollywood. <laughs> See, as, uh, as Polly's going to be the, uh, the star. So basically, I'm thinking of having... Um, uh, Polly kind of play the uh, the lead character uh, in the uh, the first film and then we can have a uh, Fizzy and William uh, basically continually changing costumes and basically playing all of the the other characters and I think that just might end up being absolutely hilarious and oh no I don't have a, I don't have enough white wool actually uh, hopefully uh, someone else is going to have some some spare so let's go and uh, drop down here uh, does anyone have any uh, any spare white wool on them at all just so I can go and uh, finish off the uh, the final section uh, in the middle there we go I can see white wool raining down there we go this should be uh, more than a, a for me. So let's go and uh, uh, try and end a pearl back up onto the uh, the roof. And yeah, let's go and finish off that final section. And then once uh, uh, Polly's finished off that uh, last wall there, and then we're going to be pretty much done. And then we're going to pretty much, uh, in terms of the uh, the outside at least, uh, it's going to be all ready uh, for us to go and do the uh, the inside. So uh, there's a few different sets we're going to start off by building. Uh, I'm always going to have one green screen because green screen is just really handy. As I said, I don't want to do it all green screen, but that's going to be mainly for like Say if the character's traveling somewhere, rather than building a whole set just to have them walk past it very quickly, I can kind of just have them walk past a green screen, and then I can kind of allow them to, to kind of walk past there. But I want I want everything to be done in my lovely world. I don't want to, to suddenly start adding in like a bunch of real life things. I kind of want the uh, the entire thing to be, a, to be a lovely world production. I should come up with a production company name, shouldn't I? That could be funny. <laughs> and I wonder if I should do like a trailer for the film as well. This is going to be so much fun, honestly. Like I just love films and making films, and so the fact that I get to doing in my lovely world is uh, is really exciting but yeah uh, this is the uh, the film studio pretty much done let's just go and um let's just go and spread out some uh, some torches around it because it is nighttime and as you can see uh, googlies have uh, have kind of taken over my lovely world as they uh, they always do at, at, at nighttime but yeah let's go and uh, jump down here and uh, let's go and have a, a look at it. oh no oh there's a creeper right there william beaver behind you turn around william no oh look at that he knocked it back in time <laughs> and you know what william that might have actually helped you out a little bit and oh no what's going on oh there's a slime oh no there's a slime going after me oh no i'm really hurt 
William! William, save me! William, save me! I'm really hurt, and there's a slime coming after me, and I'm hungry, and my hunger's not coming back up. Oh, there we go! William, save me! Oh, no! They're still coming after me! They're, they're spreading! <laughs> they're multiplying! There we go! Thank you, William Beaver! That was so close there. That so nearly got me. <laughs> oh, and you've given me some food as well. Thank you very much. And thank you as well, Flippy. Don't think I didn't notice you trying to jump up to the rescue as well. Um... Polly, I'm afraid we accidentally blew a hole in your wall, though. It might have helped out William Beaver, but I don't think it... <laughs> I don't think it helped out Polly quite so much. Uh, let's see if we can go and... um. Uh, finish off this uh, this little last section down here uh, where there's a now a, a new doorway. Let's uh, let's put it that way. Uh, right then, can I can I work out the pattern again? That's the problem. As I said, that pattern uh, wasn't so hard. Uh, this one's uh, a little bit more uh, <laughs> a little bit more uh, confusing. I think that's just basically uh, supposed to go a, a little bit there uh, like that. All uh, right then, so that's uh, pretty much the uh, the outside of the uh, the movie theatre done. Uh, so as I mentioned in the the next episode, uh, we're going to go and uh, try and build everyone's film trailers, and I want them to be um I want them to be custom trailers kind of just for uh, whoever wants to be inside of them. Uh, so hopefully I can have some of my Minecraft helpers joining me uh, as well. Uh, so yeah, they can choose what they want to, to have inside of them. And oh, let's go get rid of that dirt as well. I was just going to go and have a look at it and see what it looks like for now. Uh, but it's annoying me having a, a big pile of dirt that I left there. So let's go and get rid of that. Uh, go and step back a little bit and kind of admire our handiwork uh, that we uh, we got done. And then yeah, in the, the next episode, as I said, we're going to go and hopefully uh, get some of the uh, the inside done uh, as well as all of the uh, the trailers. And uh, let's take out this zombie as well. I want to be a little bit more careful around it. And another some why, why is there so many slimes all over the place at the moment. I do not like it. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the uh, that's the movie theatre. That's Pollywood uh, as it's at the moment. Sorry, the uh, the movie studio, not theatre. Uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty awesome. And I think it does actually fit in uh, with everything else that's in the uh, the area as well. Uh, but sadly, uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. As the final thing I need to do is to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!